Hello everybody and welcome to Car Confections. Now sitting behind us is our very own all new 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe. And in today's video, we wanna talk about five important things that you'll want to know before you look to consider to buy one of these all new Santa Fe's. Let's go ahead and dive in. Now the first thing you might want to know is which trim level is the best pick for you. You know, which one is gonna have the features that you want. So let's go through some of the main features that you might be looking for. First of all, you might notice up here in the front, we have a very premium full LED lighting arrangement. We actually have projector LED headlights and these are standard on every single trim level, no matter which one you choose. And as we come over to the wheels, this is another thing people might be looking for. Smaller for better ride quality, maybe bigger for more pizzazz. If you choose the SE, SEL, or XRT, you're going to get 18 inch alloy wheels. We have a contrast design on this SEL. You can get 20 inch alloy wheels on the Limited and 21s on the Calligraphy. Coming up here to our mirrors. Uh, a lot of people are looking for blind spot monitoring. That's actually a standard feature on all trim levels. But if you want some advanced features, such as power folding, you are going to need to choose the limited or the calligraphy trim level. For some other exterior details, if you want the raised roof rails, you need to choose any trim level except for the base model. As we move around to the back, again, you're going to find that you have LED tail lights across the entire lineup. Some models will come with black badging instead of the silver badging you see on this example. Now while I'm back here, I do want to mention the tow rating. The XRT is going to have a higher tow rating than the other trim levels at 4,500 pounds. It also comes with all-terrain tires for more off-road capability. But I'm sure a lot of you guys want to know about the features on the inside and what creature comforts you're going to get. Well, they do all have smart entry, so that's certainly very nice. But as you head inside, I do want to break down some of those big features that I am sure a lot of you guys are, you know, wanting in your next new vehicle. Now, as far as the seats themselves, I want to talk about the materials. The uh, base model does come with a cloth seat. So if you like the cloth seat, you will have to choose that base model. The SEL is where you upgrade to the uh, h -Tech's level the rent as you see here this is honestly a pretty realistic faux leather so don't be too afraid to get this version um, i think it feels very supple the limited is though where you get the real leather seat and then the calligraphy actually gets a fancier grade of napa leather so there's all types of different seating configurations depending on your trim level now as far as the main features to talk about inside this cabin and what trim levels they come on uh, i'm sure a lot of you guys are looking for the latest and greatest technology i'm happy to say this large infotainment screen is standard this is running the latest software and it's on all versions of the santa fe now there are slight differences between the trim levels, um, especially when it comes to the gauge cluster. This is going to be like a partial digital gauge cluster on the lower trim levels. It will be a full digital gauge cluster on the higher end models, limited and calligraphy specifically. Those two trim levels also are going to get the heated steering wheel and those two trim levels will also get ventilated front seats. So limited and calligraphy are gonna get you a lot of those bougie features you may be wanting. Uh, heated seats though are standard on all but the very base version of this Santa Fe. Also standard on all but the very base version is the dual zone climate control. So that's a, a big deal for a lot of you guys. Now wrapping up things that might be important to you, a moonroof. As you can see, this SEL does not have a moonroof. Um, XRT does actually get a conventional style moonroof and limited and calligraphy. Those two trim levels are going to get a dual pane setup. So in conclusion, which trim level do we think is the best value? Well, we think that is the SEL, which is what we have with us today. Um, it slots in around $6,900 cheaper than the next trim up, which is the Limited. So really big price difference between those for equivalent all-wheel drive trim levels. Now, if you want a little bit more of the fancy features, such as like the moonroof and the ventilated seats, we would recommend getting the Limited trim level because the Limited is going to give you about 95% of what you get on the calligraphy, and it's still going to ring in around $3,000 less than the calligraphy trim level. Now, of course, if you want the most features, get the calligraphy by all means, but those are the two trim levels that we think poses the best value. 
The second thing you might want to know is what's under the hood. Well, the Santa Fe will have two different powertrains, a traditional gas powertrain and also a hybrid offering. The hybrid will be available soon, but it's not available right now. So keep that in mind. Um, in terms of power, this is a 2.5 turbo with 277 horsepower. If you choose the hybrid, you'll go down to 232 horsepower, but the fuel economy will improve. It will likely achieve in the mid 30 MPG combined rating. Now, the third thing you'll need to know before buying this Santa Fe, and a really important point is that we now have a third row as standard equipment on all versions of this vehicle, regardless of what trim level you choose. That's obviously different than the previous generation Santa Fe. And let's go ahead and check out the third row to see how good it is. They've made it really easy to get back here. You just press a button and that slides the seat out of the way. And, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and climb back here to give you guys a reference point for someone who is five foot nine. Now, sitting back here, we have about 29.9 inches of leg room. And this is what I wanna talk about because know what your needs are. If you're gonna be using the third row all the time, I would probably still recommend getting the Palisade. The Hyundai Palisade has a better third row. It has a little bit more room. Um, but this Santa Fe is certainly not a bad choice if you're not going to be using your third row that often. There's only two seats back here, so they're nice and wide. And there is a ton of headroom because of that boxy shape. Now, if you're never going to use the third row at all, maybe consider getting a Hyundai Tucson and you'll save a little bit of money over this Santa Fe. But um, certainly the third row is pretty usable in this model. The fourth thing you should know before buying is how improved the technology is. So this new generation comes with a new generation of Hyundai's infotainment system. And this infotainment system has a lot of performance benefits, as well as a couple new features that I know a lot of you guys want. Wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay are gonna be included on all versions. That's what I have pulled up right now. And if we go back to the Hyundai interface, you can see just how nice and responsive everything is. Now, the fifth and final thing we think that you should know before buying a Hyundai Santa Fe are the numbers associated with it, aka how much should you pay for this new Santa Fe? Now, I know there's been a lot in the news recently about dealer markups and all those things that's been going on for the past couple years. This Santa Fe, we would not recommend paying a dealer markup for. We wouldn't recommend really paying a dealer markup at all, ever, but there are 4,000 of these for sale in the USA as of March the 7th. So this is not a vehicle that you're gonna have super limited availability, at least initially, because Hyundai's been able to really keep up with demand in their production. So this vehicle is pretty much out and about and you should be able to get what color and trim level that you're really looking for. So now those five things are said and done about what you should know before buying this Hyundai Santa Fe. I do want to quickly point out for those of you that have been keeping track of our ownership experience, yes, we've had some issues. And if you'd like to learn about those issues, you can find other videos on our channel that really detail what happened and when. Uh, but we're not going to be going into much detail about that in today's video. The last thing I do want to point out is the pricing of this model. You start around $33,950 for an SE front wheel drive, so that's the entry point into the Santa Fe lineup. Of course, you go all the way up to that calligraphy, which is a little under $47,000 as a starting point, so you have a pretty wide range of prices for this all-new model. And guys, if you found this five things to know before buying the Santa Fe video helpful, we would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below. By subscribing, not only are you going to join in and learn more about this long-term Hyundai Santa Fe that we personally own, you're also gonna learn more about other cars because we do a ton of car reviews every single year. So you won't wanna miss out on that. And also join in on this Car Confections family. We have a lot of fun on this channel. If you're already a part of our family, thank you so much for your continued support. And we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies. Peace.